Hey guys, back again. This time I've got a comparison video for you guys. Got the Galaxy A3 2017 versus the Galaxy A5 2017. I'm uh, just going to go uh, on the outside of the device, not the insides, so uh, please bear with me. Um, right, so what we've got here is the A3 2017. Um, rather small sized phone. Uh, the screen pops right out to, almost to the bezel, you can see. I mean, you can't see. I'll try and switch the phone on so you can have a look at maybe what, uh, what the screen looks like. In the meantime, what I'll do, I'll just take your own phone. Here's the volume rocker up and down, USB-C type charger, microphone hole, and the 3.5mm um, audio jack. On the top, you have another microphone hole there, and then you've got your uh, SIM card and a SD card tray all in one. On the back, your camera and your, uh, your flash. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, the phone, as you can see here, you can see the screen stretching almost right up to the bezel. Um, your home button on the front, you've got a front facing camera. There is a proximity sensor in here with, uh, with light, uh, with a light sensor as well, and then your speaker grill at the top. There's your proximity sensor and light sensor, right? Um, fairly nice device. You can see it's, it's, it's small. But I can tell you something, this thing is heavy. It's really, really heavy for its size. Um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of, uh, kind of strange. But I can understand it's got a full metal chassis on the back. It's got this gloss plasticky finish. Um, but what seems to be really the heaviest, and when you when you got it handled in your hand, what seems to be the most heavy is this this glass cover that, or this glass they've got in the front. You can see it's kind of rounded on the edges and uh, I think it needed a bit of thickness for that to actually give that aesthetic so it's rather thick and that adds weight to the device um, it's not bad but when you when you pick up a phone like this that this size it, you're expecting it to not feel um, this heavy so uh, yeah um, not a bad device by any stretch um, Battery life is a little bit on the, uh, on the downside, but uh, I'll do a full review of this on its own. Um, now, moving on to the Galaxy A5 2017, slightly larger. Now, this distributes its weight pretty well. I'll go through that in a moment. Um, what you've got here is the same, uh, same screen stretching almost to the bezel. You have your proximity sensor, light sensor, your speaker grill and your front facing camera, your home button, and then your, your option buttons to the left and right. On the left of the of the phone, here you've got your volume up and down, and then uh, your SIM card tray here to the uh, to the left. Uh, the SIM card tray is over here. It's not integrated. Um, your 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 SIM card goes here. Um, then you've got your uh, your USB-C Type connector at the bottom. Your microphone and your 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, on the left of the phone, here's the power button in your speaker grill, and on the top microphone and then here is your sim card tray okay so i uh, just let you guys know it's two separate ones and i'm guessing reason is because it was a dual sim it is a dual sim uh, phone in certain countries uh, here in my country our carrier does not support dual sim phones uh, on the back also camera and flash uh, also they all come with this nice glossy finish with these rounded edges it's got this this raised bezel sort of glass. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, the light's hitting it quite nicely, so you can actually see. It's got this really nice uh, risen bezel uh, on the glass, which gives the phone a really, really premium look and feel. Um, this phone carries its weight pretty well. It's not too heavy. Um, in fact, when I take these two phones and I, I, I kind of hold them in my hand, this one feels exactly the same as this one, although you can see they're not the same size, which is, it's kind of weird, maybe, you know, um, but it, I guess it just comes down to material, uh, the materials that they used. And uh, like I said, uh, this phone actually does carry its weight a little bit better. It's got a nice sized screen and uh, it just feels premium. It's, it's got this nice premium feel. All of these phones, um, the recording, I'm actually recording on the Galaxy A7 25th, uh, 2017, um, doing this video now, and that phone is beast. It's heavy, it's large, it feels bigger than an S7 and an S6. It's just, it's a behemoth of a phone. Uh, almost in, in, in the same league as the Note, uh, the Note 5. 
it, this, the phone is just big and and heavy uh, it's slightly uncomfortable I, th I think I'm gonna actually switch to this one because this one has um, basically all the same features it's the same phone it's just smaller so um, I'll compare the uh, the Galaxy A7 2017 to the Galaxy A5 2017 in a short while I'll show you guys what the differences are but uh, there you go guys just a quick overview of, um, of the, the phones on the outside basically you're getting the exact same phone um, hardware wise uh, in terms of physical hardware um, physically inside the chips are different and uh, I'll go through um, some benchmarks and I'll do some CPU uh, screen resolution RAM and all that sort of stuff uh, I'll, I'll compare those and then I'll show you guys um, what uh, what the phones um, what the phones uh, uh, compare to and stack up to one another so until then I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope uh, you um, you subscribe i hope you like i uh, hope you um enjoy this videos uh, let me know if there's anything else i can do for you guys um and uh, yeah i'll see you in the uh, in the next video thanks a lot guys bye bye